In the days following the disaster and more, Americans from outside the state most commonly commend Oklahomans for their strength during such trying times. When it comes to college athletics, perhaps no team in the Sooner State better exhibits that quality than OU softball. Since Monday, it's red on their shirts, their signs, and their helmets. A proud reminder of who this team represents, no longer just the university, but the entire state. Being able to play for the state of Oklahoma and everyone and just bringing joy to them is just a great feeling. This could be perceived as added pressure to the team, which is considered the overwhelming favorite to win the national championship. To these Sooners, that's not the case. Usually we're saying that we're playing for the name on the front of our jersey, and I think that that name has a different meaning to it now after this past week, and it gives us strength and just try to bring joy to the people here. Joy may be the last adjective used to describe anything relating to Monday's events, but to the credit of senior Kehlani Ricketts, the All-American remains a positive influence to those affected, and it's been returned in kind. And Sydney Angle, who played youth softball and more, nine-year-old little girl who was killed in the elementary school that was demolished in Oklahoma, had her family in yesterday. I saw Kehlani Ricketts change, recognizing that people are so excited to see her and kids who haven't been probably having much joy in the last couple of days were feeling it around her and that meant something important to her and I think it just took a lot of pressure off of her. A lot of this has changed our team in a, in a wonderful way. Aside from representing Oklahoma on the game's biggest stage, this will be an opportunity for Kehlani Ricketts and the other Sooner seniors to do what they haven't been able to the last two times they made it to the College World Series. That was win the national title. We'll see if that changes in 2013. Reporting in Norman, John Laws, Tulsa's Channel 8 Sports.